everybody. I'm joined here with Sinead Dunphy, the Jazz Festival Director. Um, great evening to kick off here in Cork. Absolutely, the Dia de los Muertes parade really went above and beyond. There was the Day of the Dead came to life and yeah. Cork came to life with it. So it was really exciting. And the work done by Cork Community Art like, was stellar, absolutely incredible. I think for the people of Cork, uh, a long bank holiday weekend in October means more than a bank holiday. The jazz really is an institution oh, here in it Cork, is. isn't it? It's a calendar highlight. You can't beat it. And I mean, like even as a punter for the last 18 years in Cork, I've loved it. So it's always been my highlight. And now it's even more of a highlight in a very, very different way. <laughs> and the people that are watching, what can they expect this year that may not have been their last or previous year? Yeah, well, I suppose, of course, the opening with the parade this year, and we're hoping to grow that bigger and bigger every year. But the big uh, kind of new addition would be City Hall as the main venue. And yeah, I'll be kicking off on Friday night with Five Boys of Alabama, Laura Mavula at 8 o'clock Saturday night. A massive swing jive with a battle of the bands, with two massive swing bands, with a dance floor show, so dancing shoes at the ready for that one. And then closing it out with Maria Schneider Orchestra, who've never come to this part of the world at all from New York. So it's a real coup for the festival, and I'm so honoured that she agreed to come. So there's that. We have the ECM, the most prestigious jazz record label in the world, doing a full festival within a festival in Tristville. We have our first festival commission happening in St. Luke's, half nine on Friday night with the Dave Duffy Quartet called Unity. That's an AV visual spectacle. Like it's going to be like what you've never seen before. So that's really interesting. Up in Nananago we have Requiem for the Truth, a theatre and jazz show. Fortunately that's sold out okay, uh, okay. but I think we should have them back because they're absolutely incredible. There really is something for everybody for everybody's taste and everybody's interest throughout the whole festival, really, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely, because I think you know you have to be accommodating. As a festival, you have to look at the whole bigger picture. Mm -hmm. You need to consider the free events outside on the street for kids, for families. You want to be able to bring your kids and get them involved and stuff. The parade was about that. The Emma Place kind of uh, music that's going to be on the big uh, outdoor stage there. That's going to be incredible. One to seven, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Free music every half hour, different band. So you're going to get every kind of a taste of music. None of that I don't like jazz, because jazz <laughs> is so wide and diverse. I won't have it said in my yeah. presence. Oh, well, there you have it. There is something for everybody. Uh, one of the big things we're looking forward to, myself and Brian, is Unity being from Unity Media Network. Uh, but really, we're all in for a big treat. And if the parade is anything to go by, this year's Jazz Festival will live up to its expectations as in previous years. So, Sinead, thanks very much Thank indeed. Thank you so much. Very, very best of luck with the Cheers. rest of the festival. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you.